welcome back to my channel my name is Lola and um, this is my updates video on my second pregnancy um, so the video before this one was sort of my announcement talking about how I found out and where I am right now and how I'm feeling um, so in this video I'm just going to be sharing my first doctor's appointment experience I mean what we discussed and things like that although it was uh, a week or two weeks ago I wasn't able to film a video immediately I've been so as you can see like I look so like it's been a struggle you know just to feel good um, today I had to step out to get some stuff so I just decided to do this video in the car because once I go in upstairs I'm just like out um, so my doctor's visit was okay so I told you guys um, when I went to do my test I went to a certain hospital I didn't like their service um, I didn't like their you know everything so I basically just bailed and all I did was do did a blood test and a scan just to confirm I didn't even wait to see the doctor because they were just doing all sorts so I changed my hospital to another hospital which I'll tell you guys about later on um, and my first visit there was very very nice um, so I, I met with the doctor and you know he went over my history my last pregnancy where I am now and everything like that um, so the specific things that we talked about okay so at this point I'm going to be nine weeks tomorrow and tomorrow is actually my birthday which is also the 9th of March <laughs> anyways um, so it's, I'm still in my first trimester I'm still experiencing nausea vomiting sometimes like this morning um, indigestion most times it feels like there's food in my throat and in my chest and in my upper belly like I just feel so uncomfortable like it's the most uncomfortable feeling and it's a feeling that just makes you feel miserable like you can't even get things done you just want to like lay down but I actually find that when I move around a bit more although it's quite challenging I kind of feel better which is why I dragged myself out today so um, I'm hoping that I can move around more like maybe take walks go swimming since I have a pool in my estate which I should have been doing actually because when I was pregnant with my, my first one I did swim a lot but my first trimester, I didn't feel this sick. I didn't feel this tired, this uncomfortable, you know. And um, so, so those were the kind of things we talked about. He said he just wants me to really um, get out of this first trimester before he starts to. And if things, you know, continue, then he can give me medication for them. But he doesn't want to start pumping me with like medication for indigestion or stuff like that right now or vomiting although he gave me a prescription and said um, if it's very severe then I can use the medication but if not he would rather I stay off any medications apart from my prenatal you know supplements right now okay so then I shared my concern about preeclampsia which I experienced in my first trimester and he said, you know, preeclampsia is not something you can predict if it will happen. You can't, you, you, you really just cannot. Just the same way it happens suddenly is the same way you cannot predict it. I mean, so um, he just said I should, you know, just be positive, hopeful that things will be fine. And he said I should also... Um, by 16, 14 or 16 weeks, he'll put me on low dose aspirin, which the doctor where I had my son already mentioned that that's what is um, prescribed all over the world. If you've had preeclampsia before, you know, it's, so, um, it's 
advisable to use low dose aspirin to kind of prevent it although it's not a full guarantee but i'm hopeful i'm a person of faith i believe um i'll be fine you know regardless my baby will be fine and all that um then another thing we talked about which <laughs> i was <clears throat> i was saying with this pregnancy since my son was an emergency cs I'll be looking forward to doing a V back. And you know, he was like, oh no, that because um it's only been 18 no. Yeah, my son is 18 months, so it's only been 18 months. By the time baby will be born, that would be like two years and uh, maybe three months that I had the surgery, the CS. So his suggestion was it's better to do another CS just to make sure that I'm fine, baby is fine. You don't want to put baby through any, you know, trauma or put me through any unnecessary, you know, just to be sure that everybody's fine. He also talked about the fact that he doesn't know what incision was made on the womb. You know, what I have now is the low, I don't know what that thing is called, that cut that is like across, like that very low bikini line scar but on the womb itself he doesn't know if it what incision was made you know and then how the muscles around that area have been able to respond and i totally understand i'm not die hard i must give birth by vagina no but i just wanted to have the experience so yeah tomorrow is my birthday i'm turning 30 just going to be doing something small at home with a few friends because i seriously don't even have energy for anything when you're saying this, I probably already had a baby, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!